It's time to take this night to the moon. The wealthiest man in all of NXT. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Million Dollar Corporation from Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cameron Grimes. A trainee of the Hardy Boys who is now rich enough to buy the whole Hardy compound. That's amazing to think about. But actually, a better reason to become friends with him. Maybe Cameron could buy somewhere for you to live so you can move out of your mom's basement. Hey, hey. The age of Alexander continues. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Guys, Cedric Alexander had one of the best matches in the Cruiserweight Classic a couple of years ago. And it was so good, Triple H came out and applauded the man and then signed him to a WWE contract. You know, you look at every superstar, and every superstar has their individual motivations. Well, for Cedric Alexander, it is simply to be a good role model for his young daughter to prove that as long as you put in the work, you can succeed at whatever you want to do. If there's one thing everyone knows about Cameron Grimes, it's that he's got no shortage of confidence and just loves to run his mouth. In fact, he was probably shooting his mouth off backstage before this very match. You can't fault the man for believing himself. And what's more, Cameron Grimes can actually back up what he says in the ring. Grimes doesn't just talk tough, he is tough. Grimes needs to be plenty tough, like you say, Corey, if he hopes to live up to his own bravado and snag the win here in this match. Then there's Cedric Alexander, who's reached a point of intensity personified. As hungry a superstar as you'll find in WWE. I may not necessarily agree with Cedric's tactics as of late, but I cannot deny how incredible of an athlete Alexander is. Cedric Alexander's as quick and athletic as they come, but we all know that style has as much of a crash and burn result as it does an effective one. If Alexander's smart, he'll focus more on execution than flash to make sure he doesn't make any major mistakes. And we've seen Cedric become a bit more methodical as of late, focusing more on the execution of those high-risk moves. And there's the Urinagi. Land of them. Alexander's looking helpless to every attack. Yeah, Grimes is clearly in control. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. And Alexander with a taste of his own medicine there. Grimes backing up all that tough talk of his. Grimes plans in motion. We're gonna finish it off. Swanton bomb. Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice. Just the slightest bit of hesitation in the cover could have been all the difference there. Mistake made by Grimes. Finally, Cedric's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. Now's a chance for Cedric to get back into this match. Oh, saw it coming. <laughs> Alexander answers back. He's turning the tables. The U-turn he needed in this match could have been right there. Momentum is really on Grimes' side. But Cedric's just one move from turning this around. It's a no good driver! And into the count. Two count. He gets the shoulder up in two. He got close there. It could be do or die time.
Now it's cinched in. This could be it. Got a small package driver. Nothing Cedric can do now. An emphatic victory. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights.